Hallelujah. Glory be to God forever and forever in the name of Jesus. Thank you, fellow believers, brothers and sisters in the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm happy to bring you this topic today about thorn in the flesh. Yes, we know about that. Many people have heard that in the Bible about this thorn in the flesh. Let's go today and dig in it and discuss about it and learn about it. What was Paul talking about? about thorn in the flesh the book of second corinthians 12 verse 7 to 9 talks about let's read it first it says unless i should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelation there was given to me a thorn in the flesh the messenger of satan to buffet me lest i should be exalted above measure for this thing i besought the lord thrice that it might depart from me and said uh, unto me my grace is sufficient for you uh, for my strength is made perfect in weakness now the question is that however it, what, what was paul talking about the thorn of the flesh was he was he talking about sickness and and if he was talking about sickness was god uh, uh, not able to heal him I don't think so. He really specified here and talk about a messenger of Satan, which is a demon. Guys, I want to explain to you because I've been dealing with this for many, many years since I gave my life to Jesus. I know so many people argue and say that when you are a born again Christian, you cannot have devils and you cannot have demons and you cannot have a thorn in the flesh. Because Paul was talking about this thorn in the flesh. What do people think? Some people will think maybe it's a piece of stick that was, was piercing him on the side. But he did not say that. He said that a messenger of the devil, which is a demon, that they sent to buffet him to a, because he, to a, he, he was exalted, you know, pride. Because they, most people think that the spiritual world is not real. The spiritual world is real and demons, they are real. You know, you have to know that. And these powers, because we as Christians, we battle day and night for our souls. If there was no demons and there was no spiritual realm and there was no Satan existing in this world, God would have given us the scripture in the book of Ephesians that says here, let's read Ephesians a little bit that we should put on the whole armor of God, Ephesians 6, uh, uh, 11, that we should put on as Christians and believers the whole armor of God so that we can be able to start against the wiles of the devil. It says that, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against unseen forces, which is say their principalities, their powers, their rulers of darkness of this world, their spiritual wickedness in the high places. So we are wrestling with these unseen forces, which are demons with Satan and all his agents. They are spirit without bodies. They are there, they have personality. And these spirits, they are they, they, they torment. You know, God has to reveal that to you. I have seen since the time I gave my life to Christ, I've seen them so many times. I'll deal with them so many times in the dream and everything. I rebuke them, I use the blood against them, I use fire, I use prayer, everything. You know, as a Christian, you are born again. Human being is made in three different parts. You are not only a body and you are not only a soul or only a spirit. The Bible says that God is a spirit and he created man in his own image. We have three different parts. We have a, we are spirit being like God and we have a soul which is our intellect our our um our emotions and the will and all that and we have we live in a body we are not a body but we live in a body and when you become a born again christian your body is saved your i mean your spirit is saved your spirit is automatically saved 
Amen. In the name of Jesus, Christ, your soul has to be renewed by the word of God. The Bible says we should not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. So your mind has to be renewed. Your mind is your will, your emotion. It renewed by the word of God to know that you are a new creation. But your body is not yet saved. Your spirit is saved already. You are a new creation. But your body is not yet saved until when Jesus comes and then the rapture takes place. Then you will be taken off from this. Or oh, oh, if you die, then you you the old body will die and then the new body god will give you a new body which is like jesus christ body the resurrected body amen in the name of jesus christ so but these demons they live in the body that's what paul was trying to explain that this message paul was the one who write all the most of the new covenant uh, letters he was explaining that this messenger of satan this was not a just a stick that was around it. It was not sickness or disease. It was not that, but it was a messenger of Satan. And why they, they, this messenger of Satan was there? Because of revelation and for pride. Because these devils, they will come because of wanting, because of sin. If they can come in because of pride, they can come in because of causes. Causes can bring them in. Sin can open the door for them to come in and also the uh, pride can also open the door for them to come in. So he said that because of pride, that was what this person, this demon was there to buffet him so that he should not be exalted above measure. That is what he said. That is what I explained. This messenger of the of Satan was the devil. These are these principalities and powers that we war against them every single day. The Bible says that since from the day of John the Baptist up to now, the kingdom of God suffer violence and only the violent take it by force. We are fighting a spiritual war here on earth. Amen. We war every single day. The weapons of our warfare. They are not canal, they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. So the Paul was not, uh, it was not a, this tone of the flesh was not uh it was not the kind of sickness like a normal sickness that you can say okay no it was a messenger of satan it was the devil messenger which are demons that was what was buffeting paul and the bible says sometimes oh, forgiveness will open the door also and these spirits will torment they do torment they do harass they afflict the body that's why you will see some situation they afflict there are different types of different spirit they are spirit of death and hell and the grave they are spirit of uh, infirmity, you will see it in the Bible. Jesus Christ cast his spirit out of that woman. Say, spirit of infirmity that was buffeting this woman too for many years. This woman was also in the church in the synagogue. He said, "You are loose from your infirmity." There are different type of spirit. There is blind, uh, blind spirit. There is deaf spirit. There is dumb spirit. There, there is the, the spirit of confession. There, there are many kinds of spirit. There is spirit of heaviness. You know, it's all written in the Bible. There are all these different types of spirits that, that torment human beings. And when you are a born again Christian, you are not exempted because you still have the body, that flesh which is not yet redeemed here on earth. And in your, it is in your body that they come to stay. A Christian cannot be, uh, be possessed by a devil. An unbeliever can be possessed by a devil. Because possession means that you are own like a ownership a de the devil cannot have ownership over you if you are a born again believer because you already jesus christ already have you for ownership jesus christ is your lord and now you belongs now to him amen in the name of jesus christ but your body is still here on earth you know because the whole earth lies in weakness amen and your body is still here on earth and these devils they can afflict you that is why the god asks us to put on the whole armor of god because they should ferry that the places that you don't have the armor there they can shoot you ferry that the places that you don't know the truth they it can be you can be vulnerable there and they can shoot you very uh, ferry that and they can send and the ferry that they send is demons they can send different demons they can send demon of confusion that can afflict your mind they can send you demon of infirmity that can afflict your body they can send you different different type of demons amen they can you maybe you can be in a situation where you are prideful you know you are you are working in pride they can send you the demon of pride also amen they can send you a demon of pride also because the bible says pride goes before it falls so that is just how it is so many people always think that oh there is no spiritual realm satan is not as it is paul said it here 
that the, this messenger of Satan was a devil, was a demon that came to torment him. That was what he called turn in the flesh. That turn on the flesh was a the spirit. This spirit will wrestle against these unseen forces day and night. The kingdom of light is wrestling against the kingdom of darkness day and night. There are two kingdoms. Jesus Christ is the one who is the ruler of the kingdom of light and we belong to him when you are born again Christian because you will be translated from the kingdom of darkness to come to God's marvelous kingdom of light and you belong now to Jesus. And then there are children of this world who have not accepted what the Bible called the children of disobedience. They call the children of the night. Amen. They are the children of the devil. They are all, they are all here on this earth. We see them every day. We rest. And all the demons are also among us. The angels of God are here. The demons are also here. And you know, these unseen forces here are there. You know, you cannot say that thing that you don't see. It's not existing. It is existing. These demons, they are there. Amen. So they will attack you. They will afflict you if you don't have, uh, if you don't know, you don't know. And you, you, because the Bible says, my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. If you don't know the area, because there, there can be an area that is vulnerable, open, the door is open for you, they're attacking you in that area. You can ask God and then he can reveal to you. Sometimes he will show you, even tell you the spirit or that kind of stuff. And then you can repent of that area. You close the door and then you can also reveal rebuke them to get out in the name of Jesus Christ. You use the word of God, the new creation word that is the gospel to tell them that you are redeemed. You are not the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are justified by the blood of Jesus. There is no condemnation again for those who are in Christ Jesus. You, you can use the scripture to rebuke them because when Satan himself came to the son of God, Jesus Christ, the, the, Jesus Christ also used the word to rebuke him, to tell him that it is written and then again it is written and it is written so you use the word you can you cannot use your own word to rebuke the spirit they can't listen to you they listen only to the word of god amen in the name of jesus so causes evil dedication i do worship on some kind of stuff that can open these doors uh, for these devils and uh, to harass you even if you are born again christian they can still continue to harass you if you are working also in sin and also on forgiveness and many other things these demons are there to harass you jesus christ said that if you don't forgive your brothers and sisters with all your heart then these tormentors would come to torment you they will torment you so that is those tormentors are these messengers of the devil Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. These are the messengers of Satan, which is called the thorn of the flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus there with them. But now the church does not talk about them anymore. They don't talk as if demons exist. Jesus, everywhere he was going, he was casting out devils. He was talking about that, giving power to his disciples and to cast them out and also to deal with that because most of them, they had one who brings sickness, affliction and all that. That's why the Bible says in the book of Acts 10, book of Acts 10, 38 says that God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil because the devil and his demons this messenger of the uh, of satan they are the one that oppress the human race they oppress people here on earth. they are the one bringing sickness disease uh affliction uh, frustration harassment all kind of stuff they harass you in the dream harass you in the, they, they can harass you in any way so we have worried against all these unseen forces and jesus christ came to set the captives free jesus christ came to heal all those were oppressed of the devil jesus christ came to destroy the works of the devil in the name of jesus christ i know many churches don't talk about it i know in my in my, i was in uh, mission work in finland and in pori where i was talking to one of our sisters in the lord who have an affliction on her neck i was telling her this is a devil you know so she was just taking medication and they said that she would take this medication till she's 80 she's just only 27 years old she would take it till she's 80. so i told her i said don't do that because this is just an affliction of the devil let's cast the devil out he said no 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 so she did not want to accept that she have these these demons here because in finland in that church they were telling her that a christian cannot have a devil which is a lie because our body is not yet redeemed and we are still here on this earth only in heaven your body will be redeemed when the rapture takes place and where, or you, if you die you go to heaven you, because if you are absent from your body you are present with the lord then the devils they cannot enter your body but here on earth the devils can attack you that's why we put on the whole armor of god they can attack you and afflict you with sickness and disease 
it and that can be a thorn on your flesh and you can ask your brothers and sisters to pray for you you yourself can cast out that devil you can break the cause and say cause of sickness disease infirmity i break the cause in the name of jesus because jesus christ was uh, took my 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 cause on uh, jesus christ became a cause for me on the tree uh, when he died on the tree he took my infirmity bore my sicknesses so i reject this cause i break the cause in jesus name i declare that by the stripes of jesus i am healed because sin is a transgression of the law but jesus christ was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquities all the chastisement that brought us now peace was laid upon jesus and by his wounds we are healed amen in the name of jesus so you can rebuke them with the scripture by knowing the truth because they, if you know the truth that is that truth the light of that truth that will set you free you cannot be free without knowing the truth so that is how the whole situation is so so much ignorance in the church today many people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge amen the bible says in the book of second corinthians 2 11 it says less uh, satan will get an advantage of us we are not ignorance of his devices amen so we don't have to be ignorance of the devil in uh, uh, devices you can be ignorant of all his tactics if you are ignorant of all his tactics he will take advantage over you so the bible said we should not we should not uh, be ignorant of his devices so that he should not take advantage over us in the name of jesus christ because when you know the truth you can rebuke him with the scripture and tell the scripture no 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 you are not putting that curse on me i reject that sickness in the name of jesus i'm not taking that in jesus name. i'm redeemed i'm redeemed i'm redeemed by the blood of jesus i'm redeemed from cause the cause of the law i'm redeemed from uh, this from of sin i'm reading from sin i'm reading from the law i'm reading from everything any bad thing that can happen on this earth jesus christ redeemed me from it in jesus name so i'm walking now in the blessing in jesus name Santa, i reject your causes in jesus christ mighty name so that is just how the whole situation is amen in the name of jesus christ so i hope this encourage you i hope you know know about the turn of the flesh this turn of the flesh was the devil was a demon so when you know that you have this type of situation if you have any turn of your flesh today you know that yes you are a born again believer don't be ashamed and say oh no because i don't want people to know that i have a demon i don't want people to know that i have this situation no you don't have to be i've been many times where demon acts attack me or attack my my daughter and we always fight against it with the word of god we rebuke them we bind them we cast them out we declare the word of god day and night and declare that we are healed in the name of jesus christ oh yes they can attack you they attack christian they are assigned for christian day and night to attack christian what they watch over christian day and night like a hawk to see that when you make any small mistake bam they come in amen they say the the any the the the, the uh, your enemy is at the door that's what the bible says it can come in at any time so you have to watch out to repent quickly so in anything you repent quickly and close the door if you have any argument any fight in your house you repent quickly and close the door if you are angry you close the door because the bible says that even anger is a sin if you anger you are you are angry and you sleep with that angry you, you are giving a, a foothold for the devil to attack you so there are many things that the devil even attack even us christian because there are some angry christians you cannot say okay yeah you cannot be angry the bible so you can be angry and sin not you know so that the devil cannot attack you so all those kind of stuff we have to be careful amen in the name of jesus christ amen in jesus name uh today i declare i override so i declare for you to override all evil circle of uh, anger of uh, generational causes and anything that has been opening the door for you in jesus name i pray that you repent today easily in the name of jesus christ and close your doors quickly for the messenger of satan not to buffet you not to harass you and not to 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 oppress you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i also pray for any person we seek today in jesus name Father, we pray. I pray in Jesus' name that anyone that is sick that hear my voice in the name of Jesus that have any tone of the flesh, to show any uh, sickness and disease, any affliction of the devil, because the devil is a thief who come to steal, kill, and destroy. I pray today in Jesus' name, let that cause of infirmity, sickness, and disease be broken in the name of Jesus. I bind that strong man, that spirit of infirmity in Jesus. That I cast it out in Jesus' name. You yourself declare, I cast you out in Jesus' name. Get out of my body now. 
in the name of Jesus, my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ himself was, he took my sin on his own tree, on, on the tree, and that I should be dead to sin and live unto righteousness by his wounds, I am healed, declare I am healed in Jesus' name, I am healed in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you that you are our balm of Gilead, you are our great physician, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you are our healer, in Jesus' name, we praise you, Lord, that you arise with healing in your wings, and heal and restore, in Jesus' name, all broken lives, broken heart, people who are sick, even in their soul, Father, I pray for healing for them, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Father, people who are guilty for any sin, I ask you to forgive them, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your work has been done already on the cross, we thank you for that, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you say, for ask for forgiveness of our, of our sin, you are faithful and just to forgive us for all sin, and cleanse us for all unrighteousness, we thank you, Lord, for your work that was done on the cross, that has been finished already, in Jesus' name, so we come to the throne room, by the blood of Jesus Christ, and in the name of Jesus, and we thank you that you have already heard us in Jesus' name, I pray for healing, for any kind of terminal disease, for anyone in Jesus' name, I cause you, the singers from the roots to die, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says, every plant which the heavenly Father has not planted, let it be rooted out, so I command every sickness, disease, every satanic evil turn of the flesh to be rooted out, in Jesus' name, let the axe be laid now unto the root of the tree, let every tree that does not bring forth good fruit be hung down and be cast into the fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare peace in the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare healing, wholeness from the crown of them, your head to the sole of your feet in Jesus' name. Father, thank you. I give you all the glory forever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. On us, are there any moving object in your body? Let it be bound and be cast out in Jesus' name. They are all demons. Let them be cast out now. Be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be arrested by the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Jesus has set us free in Jesus' name. Our body is the temple of God. So therefore, we glorify God in our body and in our spirit, which is of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for healing for every listener, for every listener and their families in the name of Jesus. I com declare complete healing in Jesus' name because Jesus Christ himself took our infirmity and bore our sicknesses and he is our healer. By his stripes, we are healed in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in Jesus Christ mighty name. So today I speak deliverance to e for every turn of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare also wholeness in Jesus' name, Father. Uh, those who are also prideful, Lord, will have turn of the flesh because maybe of revelation. I pray for them, for, for them that they will receive, uh, they will be humble. They have that spirit of humbleness because Jesus has given us the spirit of humble so uh, meekness in the name of Jesus Christ so we can start to use it in Jesus name. I cover everyone with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I'm your host today again Sister Evangelist Atel in Jesus name. If you are new here in Jesus name you can subscribe down below. Leave your questions your comments, prayer requests and anything that you want to know and God bless you. I'll see you in the next audio in the next video. Thank you and God bless you in Jesus name. Amen.